Today, I'm going to show you a very healthy, nutritious, simple and quick Shorgam Khichdi, also known as Jowar Khichdi. Let's begin. Here I have Jowar with me, which is uh, dried, sun-dried. What we need to do is wash it at least twice, thrice over and then soak it for at least two hours in warm water. The whole idea is to ensure that the Jowar or the Shorgam kind of just begins to bloom and that way it becomes easier to process. Now, ideally, a lot of recipes that use Jowar or Shorgam use Jowar in its entirety. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flake it up and kind of run it into a coarse powder. So let's do that. Let's transfer the bloom Jowar in a blender jar. Now the whole idea is to crush this till it's coarse. And what happens with that is the digestibility factor of the Jowar just gets better. Well, this way, we need to grind this into a coarse little mass. And of course, without water. Let's move on to the next step and that is to make a quick spice paste. Beginning with fresh coconut, cloves of garlic, couple of curry leaves, chilies as per your spice level. And last but not the least, some fresh coriander leaves. We crush this as well into a coarse powder. Let's have a quick check. Well, I think this is just about perfect. Let's keep this aside and move on to the vegetables. Let's begin with onions. Cut them nice and roughly. Moving on to carrots and cut these into dices. And last but not the least, some fresh green peas. Let's begin with the cooking process. And this time straight in a pressure cooker. Lots of ghee to begin with. Once the ghee heats up, we add in seeds of mustard, asafoetida, and our vegetables. Time to add in turmeric powder, our ground spice mix, and along with this, the lentils. We first add in the pigeon pea lentils, tur dal, a gram which is moong, the soaked and ground shorgam or jowar. Let's mix this well. We stir this well and add in the liquid. Now you'd wonder how much liquid really. Now in this case especially, I'm using a combination of buttermilk and water. Um, one is to five is the basic proportion. So if I have used basically a cup of shorgam or jowar, I'm going to add in five cups of water. Now, when I say five cups of water, it means one cup of buttermilk and four cups of water. So if you combine four plus one is five, and this is one. So one is to five. Very simple, very clear. Let's add in the buttermilk to begin with. One cup of buttermilk and four cups of water. We stir this well and finally add in salt. And of course, by all means, we can keep adjusting later. We give this another quick stir. Cover the pressure cooker. And cook this under three whistles on medium flame. We're done with the whistles and with this, of course, the flame. Allow the pressure in the cooker to subside completely. And after which, we will serve our khichdi garma garam. The pressure has settled completely. Not because I've made this, but trust me when I say, possibly one of the most amazing, tasty, healthy, nutritious shorgam khichdi you will ever make in your own home kitchens. Now this recipe is all yours. This is me, the Bombay Chef Varun Namdar, signing off. Bye for now.